Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today I'd like to start a new series with a new game. Pumpkin Days. It was released a little bit earlier in 2021 and I've just got my hands on the game and it looks really really good. So let's get into it now and let's create our character today and have a look at the character creation for Pumpkin Days. Attention all passengers. We're approaching the island. Please collect all of your belongings before leaving the ship. And we're straight into the character creation screen. This one's quite interesting because it's a unisex character creation. So you don't choose a man or a woman, you just use the sliders to make the body type that you want. So you can be really thin or you can be quite fat. I think we're gonna go sort of in the middle. And then you can choose a chest, you can go down to no chest so that you're more manly or you can go all the way to a big chest so you're more womanly. So you can customise your character any way you want. Well, since I'm a girl I'll probably go with a girl to be honest. They usually get the most interesting hairstyles to be honest. You don't want too big of a chest though, it'll get in the way when we're trying to farm. <laughs> Uh, so you can go sort of pear-shaped hips or very narrow hips, so you, you just customise to whatever you feel like and it will sort of go in the middle. And then you can make yourself a, have a great big gutty tummy, so if you want to be a, a big beer drinker you can have a big tummy. <laughs> we'll, we'll go so, sort of semi-flat I think here because we're supposed to be a farmer so we should be at least fairly healthy. And you really don't want no muscles if you're going to be a farmer, but we don't want to be too muscly either. So we'll go sort of middle for that one as well. And then you've got quite a range of different skin colours, so you can be all pasty white like a ghost, or you can be quite brown. So choose whichever one you feel you'd like to. So you can be slightly suntanned. go for, for this one sort of it we're, we're sort of in the middle again but it's a sort of natural neutral skin tone I think that one so we'll go for that then clothes you can either have trousers or you can have dresses and they're in various colors I think I like the blue the best although we're a girl we should maybe go for a dress I just don't think that's terribly practical is it for on a farm so let's go for pink and now let's take a look at the hairstyles. Definitely don't want to be bald. See, the ones at the top are what I'd class as more traditionally male hairstyles. Now, some of them are quite cute for girls as well, to be honest. Like I said, this one's a very gender neutral game, so you can pick any combination of things you like and just be anything or anybody you want to be. And then we've got some of the styles nearer the bottom that are what you'd class as more traditionally female. Though let's be honest, not every female has long hair. Lots of them have short hair and not every male has short hair. Lots have long hair too. So um, I don't want lots of flowing hair because I think if we're going to be a farmer, it should at least be tied back if we're going to have long hair. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's nice too. Oh, now that's very practical. Oh, those are nice with the big bunches as well. Um, oh, that's nice with the big bunch at the back. That's too small of a ponytail, I think. Sad ponytail. No, that looks, looks a little bit silly to me. Oh, double pe double pigtails. That's quite good. See, I'm looking for something like this with it all fastened back. is very practical. Shorter or longer? Oh, do you know, I don't know which one to pick now. I want one of these practical styles with it fastened back. So I'd like us to keep longish hair, but I'd like it to be fastened in some way. So we go for the traditional ponytail? Yeah, I think we're going to go for the traditional ponytail. So let's pick our colour. As you can see, there's a choice. Oh, uh, mm, I was just thinking we'll go pink, but I think that's a little bit too bright. If we were looking at that every day, I think that would be a little bit too overwhelming. Yeah. See, the blonde, these, the blonde and the pink, I think, are a little bit too bright. They've just become a little bit much. So let's have a quick look at all of the colours, just so you can see them all. There we go, we've gone through them all. Some of them are a little bit too bright and shiny, I think, to be watching every day. Though I'm 
I'm so tempted to go pink, but I just think it might be too bright on the screen. See, that's my first choice, but I think it's just that little bit too bright. do what to do. Really want to go pink but it's just so bright. Um, I think we might go blue. It's a nice colour and it's not really really bright on the eyes so we'll swap her trousers to blue as well so we're consistent. Now let's take a look at the different eyes. Oh gosh that's an awful lot of choices isn't it? I think we'll go for blue again here. Eyebrows. Okay, you've got so much. Oh no, look, oh, that's crazy. Oh, uh, look, so you can make your character really, really crazy, or you can go much more traditional. I'm going to kind of go for a traditional looking uh, person. Oh, look, you can make everything match the colours of your hair and everything as well. Oh, that's good. And again, with the mouths, you've got some traditional ones, and then you've got lots of really crazy ones. So you can go cra completely crazy with this one. Oh, look, you can put plasters, stars, marks, freckles. If you wanted a male character, there's a few beards. And then your personality, you've got a little different stance that you use when you're just standing still and uh, doing nothing. Goofy's just too much. Um, let's see, which one shall we choose? Yeah, Goofy's definitely too much. I don't like anxious, it's just a little bit crazy. I, I think idle, confident and... confident and shy are probably my three favourites so we're going to go for just normal idle and now we can pick a favourite food or is this what people will give us as a, a gift in the friendship thing so there's quite a lot of choice up there again I'm really tempted to go cookies or ice cream or something Maybe should we go something more substantial like pies or something? If in doubt, probably should go for one of your first choices. I think we might go for ice cream because I think I know where I'd like to go to live. And because also of where I want to go to live, I think we'll have a summer birthday and I think we'll put it in the middle. So the months are 28 days, so we'll go for the 14th of summer as our birthday for our character. We've gone for ice cream because summer. And for a name, what shall we be? Let's be Kitty, because we're Kitty the Gamer. So let's try Kitty and see if we can. Because it's a single player game, there shouldn't be any problem with any name that we choose. So let's create our character. Are you done creating your character? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. So there's a picture of our character for you. So we've gone for the blue as our theme colour. And now we've got a choice of where we want to base ourselves. So you've got Diamond Falls, a snowy mountain town. Pumpkin Vale, the river town, which I think is the place that most people start in. And then Wahoo Beach, a tropical paradise. And as I think you've guessed from the theme of the summer birthday and wanting ice cream as our favourite, we're going to go to Wahoo Beach. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!